vintage pipe fittings. Let's start with this nylon plastiline insert T. This T will connect three inch and a quarter poly pipes with one or two hose clamps. You can see it says plastiline right there. And that's the older logo that got replaced with this one around 1965. This fitting had been made after 1959 because this is Pompano Beach, Florida. And they started making fittings there in 1959. Before that, they made it in New York. NSF, as NSF the older way, so this fitting could be very old. Three dots, I don't know what those are there for. I've seen them a lot on older fittings. Inch and a quarter on each end. So it means that any one of these could be where the water is coming from. Usually, this would be the main, you have one coming off of it, or this could be the main, you could have two coming off of it. You can see the way these barbs are designed, you can easily put a pipe on, but you can't easily pull it off because these barbs are flat on the other end. This barb is cracked and I don't know why. They don't go all the way through so they wouldn't chip off. But my guess is that this fitting cooled too quickly making it crack when it came out of the mold. This fitting is flexible so it can't be brittle. The next fitting is a Univco ABS fitting. You can see that's the Univco logo right there. It's from the 70s and it's just a wall trap elbow. So you glue this onto the wall pipe and then you glue your ABS u bend onto that. This is PVC, but it's just an example. You can see it says Univco. That's the part number, NSF DWV. Has NSF the newer way, so this fitting is probably from the 70s. ABS, Los Angeles, California, UPC. Other side is the exact same way. And this part would accept a pipe, while this part would accept a fitting. The next fitting is this brass ITT Grinnell coupling. You can see there's the logo right there. It's a mysterious looking double diamond shape. There was no real name for it. And how this would work is you'd have a pipe coming out that you'd screw onto and you'd connect another one. Now these are very helpful when you're running long runs where you need to run a really long pipe and then continue on with your run because the other pipe wasn't long enough. There's the inside. There's no stops. You need to make sure that you're screwing this pipe in the right amount. If you screwed it in way too far, it would prevent this one from screwing in all the way. There's no information on it besides that logo. The next fitting is another ITT Grinnell fitting. And it has that same logo. It's an eighth inch black 45 degree elbow. So you'd screw this into an eighth inch black pipe and then screw another one into it to connect them at a 45 degree angle. You can see there's the inside. The threads are very fine. Other side is the exact same way. There's another fitting that actually has a G on it. And a lot of Grinnell fittings have that G and you'll usually see these fittings with the G on them. The next fitting is this cast iron drainage T. It would connect to inch and a half male threaded pipe. And these are pretty simple. This is screw onto the drain. This is screw into the vent. And then this would be the trap arm. Now what you put into this trap arm could really vary. If this was in the 40s and 50s, it would have been typically done with galvanized pipe. And then you would have put a galvanized dipple into here where you went out with a chrome or brass trap. But then in the 60s and 70s, it would have got a little bit more creative. They might have taken a male adapter, screwed it into here, made out of PVC, glued in a PVC or ABS pipe, and then went out with a PVC trap. Or they might have put a nipple in here and then taken a threaded PVC or ABS wall elbow, screwed it onto that, and then we went with a plastic trap. Now I'd assume that this fitting says American Foundry on it. And you can see the direction of flow is that way. If you put the fitting this way, there'd be a little bit water in the bottom of this pipe. That's the inside of the fitting. This is a pretty typical old fitting. And this is what a lot of people used back then. They had things like lead, but lead was not great because you had to solder it and you had to bend it. Copper started to come out. You had that, but it wasn't that durable of a drain. It's not really a good drainage material. So galvanized is one of the best things you had. And then plastic pipe came out in the 50s and 60s. And then that replaced galvanized. The next fitting is a stock ham valve fitting. 
it's a half inch by quarter inch black elbow. This would connect two pipes at a 90 degree angle. So stock cam on it, and stock cam valve was founded around the 1920s. This fitting could be around that old, but I think stock cam went out of business in the 90s or something. So this fitting could be more recent. See, there's the inside. There's the outside of the fitting. It's actually pretty nice for its age. Even if it was 20 or 30 years old, it would still look pretty bad, but that one looks pretty good. The next fitting is this U-brand galvanized cap, and this would screw onto a three-quarter inch galvanized pipe. There's a U right there, made in USA, and this is where the wrench would grip onto, and that's the threads right there. They're somewhat rusted, but even new fittings will be rusted like that. This one actually looks pretty good. Now this fitting could have been made between 1964 and 1992. I'd assume it's a little bit newer. 